My name is David Sanders and I'm currently Director of the Centre for Development and Emergency Practice at Oxford Brookes University. CENDEP is a centre at Oxford Brookes within the School of the Built Environment. The centre began in 1985 and we were involved in really three, three big things. Uh, development, which relates to chronic poverty around the world, and that could be Africa, Asia, Latin America, Oxford, wherever to uh, emergencies, which relates for us to natural disasters, which are on the increase, and also conflict. And then thirdly, and most importantly, relating to practice around so what. So while we're a university centre and seek to understand things and, and to build up research and, and evidence base, our main focus relates to what do we do about our rapidly changing world. Well, I'm fortunate in the work that I do it takes me to many places around the world and uh, the most humbling part of that work is to link with other people. Uh, recently I've been involved in, in projects in Bangladesh and in Arista in India and also in Pakistan. In Bangladesh the project there uh, is managed by Care Bangladesh, a, a very large NGO globally and also within Bangladesh and that's funded by the American government, the United States Agency for International Development and that project at 130 million dollars relates to reducing chronic vulnerability Bangladesh is one of the densest, well, densest, rapidly growing uh, countries on earth with some 130 million people. That's probably going to be some 180 million in the next 50 years. Dhaka, the capital, is the fastest growing city in the world and is phenomenally busy. Uh, Bangladesh itself, um, Bangladesh itself uh, is subject to uh, increasing numbers of natural hazards, to whole areas of water coming in in the Ha region to uh, land shifts in the Char region. And this project, as I say, is around reducing vulnerability. The key to that, actually, is not so much affecting the phenomenon itself, but actually giving people the skills, the abilities, the resources to be able to cope with and recover from bad things that happen. And so this project, like many good aid projects, is around community organisation, around, we use those technical words of empowerment, but that really means people having more power, girls being educated, people understanding warning systems, people being able to act together to address and tackle their own issues affecting them. And I think it's fairly safe to say around the world that good projects are ones that enable people to drive the decisions they want to make to uh, reduce their own risks.